when I did this Iron Twins video, and uh, a lot of you guys commented giving me some advice and some tips, maybe some champions even, that I could try out. And I wanted to go ahead and try to uh, use those champions that you guys shared here with me. Uh, just because I, I think it's it's important to not only just say, hey, uh, yeah, I'll check this out, but like actually show you guys that I'm fucking checking these things out, right? Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through the comments here and see... Um, okay, so here, see see what we find. Let me move myself over here so we can probably... Maybe up here will be better uh, during the fight. Romero, maybe. Okay, let me see if I have Romero. I'm pretty sure Romero is somebody I've, I've fed... Uh, <laughs> Multiple times. I, I brought him up to... Okay, so we do have one Romero. Two Romeros. Should I max him out just to try it, though? God, I haven't used Romero in a long time. Do you guys still use Romero? He's a defense-based champion. Heals on the A1. And I, I'm assuming he would be somebody in place of Wither the Crown. Uh, continuous heal. A shield. And this only happens when Juliana is is here. What are his base stats at? Or I guess I, I can't use this guy as any... I'd have to really build him out, but I don't know if I want to spend the resource, because I'm like, I'm running low on resources. And, um, like, I don't know. Like, see, I only have these many five-star chickens. I kind of want to save it for Iron Gun. Maybe another time. I might I might try out... I might try him out a different time. Let me try using, let's see. Uh, yes, not five star Krizia. Uh, Man Eater, Killable Team Save Lives. Ares, big shout out to Ares, always helping me out, giving me good tips. So he clarified with me that poisons aren't ideal with Geo because poisons will proc the retaliation when the boss um, attacks back. And also, the boss will cleanse himself if we push it to a, a certain threshold. So, War Master and Giant Slayer, any damage except... Uh, oh, so will War Master and Giant Slayer. So, he's saying that um, poisons are going to proc the cleanse and the retaliation, as well as War Master and Giant Slayer. And so, ideally, if we're going to use Geomancer, we only want to make sure that he's receiving damage from the HP burns. Then he goes on to, to further clarify that the best thing to do is to use champions that buff the entire team or themselves to boost his turn meter, the Iron Twins turn meter, so that the boss keeps taking turns and reflects or and keeps hitting us and then we reflect all that damage. Let's try that right now. So the team the team right here is uh Geo. We have Corvus, so let's take Corvus out. And somebody who boosts who puts up a lot of buffs. Are we thinking Krisk, maybe? Krisk might be a good one. We could try UDK. Mm. Siffy. Siffy always, is always placing buffs. That could, Siffy could be a good one. Now let's use somebody else. Uh, Warlord Clyde, Clydna? Clydna. Brogni. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Sam... I was just reading her comment. So, I did use Aox the Remember. Sam uh, pointed out here that Aox the Remember was one of the first tactics people used. And yes, I can I can confirm because when Iron Twins first came out, uh, I forgot who it was. I think it was either Cold Brew or Scratch. I don't know. I remember watching one of the bigger CCs before I even became a content creator talk about using Aox the Remember. Um, to extend debuffs, and then he had a little bit of a heal with a decreased attack. So I was using Lizardbin um, Aox to remember for quite some time, but Sam said, um, she says, Brogni sy synergizes with Geo for reflecting uh, damage, so I think what we can try here, I even told her just right now, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna try right, I'm gonna try the uh, Brogni skill out right now. Um, I'm gonna look at his masteries too, just to see, but let's go ahead and try out under Priest Brogni, and let's just make sure that we have everything set up. So we're going to want to open with the shield, and then Growing Shield. Make sure we just do this. Closing that out as well. Uh, let me go ahead and check Brogni's build real quick. Don't know the last time I used him. 
So he's in bolster, good HP, a little low on the defense, and pretty low on speed. But... And the Giant Slayer, she says that the Giant Slayer does proc uh, with the reflect damage from his shield. So definitely going to try this out here. We got Brimstone on him. Here are the pieces of gear. In case any of you guys do have a Brogni and, and want to compare. So we got HP percent on the boots. And yeah, just complete HP. Can we... I don't like using speed glyphs. But let's go ahead and try to run this. And we're, we're going up against the Magic Affinity right now. So this is the same team from the last video that I recently posted with Iron Twins. Um, I'll link it down below just in case you didn't see it. But we'll see what, what happens here. Because Brogni does place up a lot of buffs. And just like Sam mentioned, when you have Geomancer's Reflect Damage paired with Brogni's uh, passive reflect damage from his shield. Uh, you can see that the the Iron Twins is melting and then receiving some extra damage there as well. Now, I don't know if I should try to... Because I closed out one of Mithrala's skills. I think it was her A2? I think I closed out her A2. But let me try opening up her A3 and seeing if that does anything. What do you guys think about Brogni, by the way? Like, when he first came out, I was, I was like, really high on him. I still think he's an S-tier champion. But I don't know, because I, because you guys know me at this point. If you've been with me for a while, you know that a lot of what I know about Raid, uh, and what a lot of what I believe, tends to be relatively outdated. I want to see if I can, I can, like... Oh, let me finish my thought first. Outdated. Because <laughs> not only, not only am I outdated... But uh, as I get older, I'm, I'm almost 30 here. I'm almost 30 years old, and my memory is just slipping. I, I don't know what it is. Like, I'll walk through a door and just completely forget anything. I also want to try out, because um, I remember, because I was just looking at your guys' comments, I want to see if there are other uh, damage dealers, like somebody else I could I could think of using, I could put in this team, try to take out um, Geomancer here. And see how we do without Geomancer. And then, of course, Brogni with Mithrala. There you go. Okay. So let's go ahead and try... Um, yeah, so that was a pretty nice team. It does seem... Wait, did you guys see if if Giant Slayer procced? I, I gotta watch the video and then I'll probably comment um, about Giant Slayer again. But yeah. We got some reflect damage. I mean, mo bulk of the damage is coming from Geo. We got a little bit from here from Geomancer. Ah, uh, sorry, Brogni. I do like that Brogni heals also with his shields. So you guys heal from a, pro a portion of that. Let's go ahead and put somebody else in. I kind of just want to try out Krisk. I want to try out Krisk. Is there anybody else we could try? Oh, what if we bring in Oella? I think someone mentioned somebody. Somebody in the comments mentioned mentioned Oella. Let me see. Oh, the, uh, Jackson said Vogoth. Is my Vogoth still built? So, seen Vogoth in a while. Uh, the problem I have with this and with Iron Twins massive requirement Corvus. Yeah, I remember that was a good comment. The title of it. This is what I because the title of this video was was Iron Twins 16, but here on my keyboard. My uh, my five. I think it's pretty, pretty standard for the five and the five and the six to be right next to each other. So, yeah. and I I stay up late editing sometimes or trying to record. So, someone mentioned, oh Busco, yeah Busco, uh, great content creator by the way. A uh, great con. Oh my my English, great content creator by the way. Oella. Oella is a great one to try. Let me try out Oella. Let me throw Oella in here. Is Oella built? We're going to take out Geomancer also. Let me check out Oella real quick. What is she wearing? Okay. She's got a little bit going on. Let's level this up real quick. So not the ideal amount of stats. Yeah, ideally, I would have more HP, more defense, more speed, resistance, but well, um, she's not booked either. Let's just try her out anyway. 
anyway and see what what becomes of it i don't know who i'd want to bring in as a damage dealer though let me see here oh uh someone mentioned ninja or somebody mentioned that they they didn't have a geo but they had um oh, let me do this put the increase res turn me to fill and that and then we'll focus on hp burns and then resetting the set hp burns and let's see about Mithrala. So her A2. Let's leave that open and just see what happens here. Yeah, someone mentioned that they did not have Geomancer, but that they did have Ninja. And that they might try it, I guess. Let's see. We do have Brimstone coming from Ninja, so we'll see. Granted, I don't think my ninja is ideally built. I don't know. Wait, no, I have him built for Phantom Shogun. Yeah, this Geomancer is built for Phantom Shogun. So we'll see. And then I do want to try again using Ninja. Or sorry, not Ninja, but Geomancer with this same team using o Oella. Because if, if I want to try out Ares' comment, where I just have a bunch of buffers, survivability, support champions... And um, Geomancer, I think that that might be a good time to try right now, just to kind of see. But yeah, Iron Twins, uh, Iron Twins is hard, man. Have you guys seen? Oh, I recently buffed up my Rotos. I re I recently finally saved up enough um, stones to get a four star blessing. I paid like three hundred of the silver soul stones to finally get the four star blessing for rotos that took me like a year to save up for that's it's crazy i really only run iron twins on sundays for void but whenever i do content well whenever i'm interested in doing uh content and i want to do some iron twins i kind of do it whenever like right now we're on magic affinity but yeah i i really only usually do it on sundays where it's double chance to get the essence stones by the way, what are these kill shot markers? This one says 100. What, is it? what do these mean? Let's see, hold on. I don't read descriptions. Iron Brand. What does Iron Brand do? I think if Pytheon revives, the Iron Brand goes away, right? Yeah, Iron Brand goes away. Put the heals in. Oh, getting red. Oh, no. He barely survived. Can we get more heals, please? Let's increase those buff durations, yeah. Whoa, getting wrecked. Maybe this specific team isn't doing too well because we're moving so fast and placing a lot of buffs. And he, you see those uh, boosted turn meters? He's getting a lot of turns now before Ninja can even take a turn because he's going relatively slow. And I think, yeah, this is probably going to fail. Is there a... What does Iron Brand do? The Iron Brand debuff does nothing on its own, but it will increase the damage dealt by the IT Doomsday Machine skill. Damage from this skill increases according to the duration of any Iron Brand debuff currently active on each champion. The higher the, the duration of the Iron Brand debuff, the greater the damage that the machine will do. It can't be blocked or removed, but it can be resisted. That's good to know if you can get enough resistance on your champions to resist iron brand i mean mithral look she's the only one that doesn't that doesn't get the iron brand and it looks like it doesn't pass the hundred oh actually no look look at uh whether the crown whether the crown is up at 126 126 i'll honestly be surprised if this team makes oh my god look at him he's just smacking the crap out of ninja he got smacked the fuck down holy shit Oh my god. These kills, bro. Yeah, this is gonna end. This is there's no way that there's no way that this team survives. It's not happening. Dude, why is he hitting so hard? Why is he hitting so hard now? Cause Mithrala and Ninja don't even have Iron Brand on them. Oh my gosh, look at that. It also helps that Wither and Pytheon are strong affinity. Yep, it's over now. There's no way Wither survives. Right? 
Yeah, there was no way. No shot. All right, let's go ahead and try the same team using Geomancer, though. Let's see here. Do this and then turn this off. All right, a lot of buffers, buff extension, boosting the Iron Twins turn meter. And I think we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. Look at all that reflect damage just chopping away. Is there any way to not have the Iron Twins not retaliate? To not have them retaliate? Because they're... Let's see. How do they retaliate? Doomsday Machine, right? This one. Whenever the Iron... Uh, instantly fills the turn meter. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this move right here means that you can't use somebody like Nut. Or you shouldn't. Because that's a lot. But right here. So at these specific points in the HP of the Iron Twins. That is when the Iron Twins is going to receive. Uh, remove debuffs and then attack all enemies. 85%, 70, 55, and 40 respectively. So whenever we get to those... Um, thresholds like right now you saw it proc and part of the reason i'm trying this is just to see if i can get a consistent um sub minute iron twins team because i think my fastest is like 56 seconds I don't know what my record is. I never really paid attention. Honestly, I was just happy that I was able to do Iron Twins 15. You ever do that? You ever do like a dungeon and you're just happy that you can do the dungeon that you don't even really care how long it's going to take? That's how I felt um, finishing Iron Twins and that's how I felt finally finishing Sand Devil. Phantom Shogun came a little bit easier. I don't know why. But yeah, when it came to these dungeons... Just happy to finish it. We're at two, almost two and a half minutes now. Yeah, I don't know. I think, um, I think I prefer to have Corvus, to be honest. What if we do Beck? Beck places a, a lot of heals and. Oh, yeah. Let's see this. Let's see how this does. Because those are, what, two buffs each? And a lot of healing. Oh, I have Beck and a Protect set. What about Beck? Do you guys still use Battle Kazar? I remember for the longest time, I wanted this legacy... Legendary champion, but I just once I got him. Here's 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 what happened. Once I once I did receive Battle Kazar. Once I finally summoned him, I was really happy. But I was also pretty far in the game when I finally did get to um, start using him. Like when I first started back in 2019, 2020, I think he would have been massive. But by the time I got into the year 2021. Up until now, like, I have my unkillable teams on point. I have so many other support champions. Um, I have a lot of solo champions as well for the dungeons. I don't really use Battle Kazar. Like, I'll, I'll use them in Centronos and, you know, Faction Wars. But other than that, nah. I don't really use them anymore. This seems to be doing relatively well. I think it also helps that... That, um... Beck's animations are relatively faster than Oella's. Because Oella does like a whole lot of spinning. Slow spins. Takes up a few extra seconds. But uh, Beck is just a quick poke and then a doot. I think we're also... Yeah, uh, Beck also has the passive where if you have poisons on your enemy, you do extra damage. I think it's like an extra 15, 10 or 15% extra damage with this passive.
Now we're just waiting for Geo's... There it is. Passive. I think a, a Reflex Geomancer would do as well. Yeah, two minutes. Solid, solid, solid. All right, so, so those team, that team works as well. I wonder if... And you guys can let me know. Like, how, how do other people tackle Iron Twins without, without Geomancer? Like, can I use Rotos? Is Rotos some, somebody I can use? Just straight out, straight damage. Complete damage. Let's try it. Complete raw dog in it here. And with Rotos's passive, Spurned Oblivion, I think, or Spurn Oblivion, I think we get extra turns here and there. So I think that might help us. It'll also keep us alive so we, we don't get one shot, one shotted. So that's 202 right there. I wonder. Mm, you see, because I'm thinking when Iron Twins does eventually start doing his triple hitter, I think we might run into some rough territory there. And that's where I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. But as it stands right now, I think. Think we're solid? I think as long as you have the staple, the staple down, which is your, at least for me in this specific team, um, your cleanser, your damage reduction champions, your uh, increase, pretty much everything buff and a lot of heals. I think you're you're pretty solid. Easier said than done, I know. Again, guys, this is an endgame dungeon. It's not happening. Rodos can't do it. He's not him. 